All right. Well, it's a new year, obviously. Yes, it is. And so we have new segments. And Which is there's good. a reason that Johnny hasn't been in this this conversation. Yeah. I normally because do be in why? every we're, conversation. But we're we have a segment, we have a segment. with just yeah. him. Yeah, he's gonna talk about ah. I believe the Dallas Stars, I think. But this is a new segment. Introducing for the very first, first time, time right here right on here. NHL on our stage. On our stage, the first installment of Open Mic Night. Oh no. Oh wow. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Wow, that is tremendous. Thank you very much. Yes, open <laughs> mic night. I'm going to take a look at some of the developments around the league, whether it's technical or tactical or skill play, and kind of break them down a little bit more, maybe try to understand what's going around around the NHL. And we know the goalies are getting better than ever. It's hard to shoot the puck past goalies, so we see a lot of goals now, tips and deflections. And so much of being in front of the net with tipping a puck is instinctive, but there is some philosophy, some foundational ideas behind them on where and how to tip a puck. So I'm going to run through a few of the different options on where and how to tip a puck. Now, option one is a shot that is coming right along the ice. Now, these ones are pretty easy to hit because they are right on the ice. And we saw this in the Dallas game where Pavelski sets it down to Radulov. Now, when the puck comes along the ice, you want to try to redirect it upstairs. You want to elevate it. You just don't want to switch directions, but ideally elevate it to get to the top part of the net where the goaltender's pads will not be. If you can change directions left or right along with it as well, that's good. But the most important part of this is that you have to open your blade up and slide it underneath the puck to get it to ramp up the blade into the top of it. And how open you leave your blade will be determined by how close you are to the net, how close you are to the goalie, and how quickly you need to elevate it. Radulov does a great job there cutting under it just enough to slide it over top of the goaltender in the top part of the net. That's pretty obvious. Puck on the ice, you probably want to try to elevate it, slide your stick underneath it, try to get it up and over top of the pads. That's a regular shot. Where the second option, where a lot of shots come in right now, are shots that are a foot or two off the ice. And they got to get, get them in the air a little bit to get them past the shot blockers. And what do you do when a puck comes two feet off the ice? Now you can either hit it up or you can hit it down. If you hit it down, you're hitting it into the pads of a butterfly goaltender. If you can hit it up, you're gonna get access the higher, more open part of the net. And you see on this one, what a nice job this is by Gary Onoff to get a stick on this and try to tip it up. These are harder. It is more difficult to tip the puck up on a shot that's two feet off the ice than it is to tip it down. But if you're capable, forehand or backhand, to elevate, then you give yourself a better chance of scoring. So when you're out there practicing and the puck's coming at your shins, don't always just be tapping them down, tapping them down. Sometimes you want to try to tap them up above the pads and above the hands of the goaltender. Not easy to do, but you'll score more goals that way. The third option, what if someone's buzzing the tower and a puck is coming chest high? These ones are actually quite easy because there's only one place really to tip them, and that's down. And you like this because goaltenders will often rise up and get tight towards the puck coming towards their chest. TJ Oshie does a great job with this. Not only tips it down, but pulls it back in behind the goaltender. So you just lay your stick out here and try to tap it down and you will find access to a lot of holes, whether it's down through the goalie's feet, under his arms, or over his shoulders. But you want to just tap it down. You don't have to swing at it too hard because you don't want to change the direction too much. But lay the stick out there, work its way down. And there are a whole bunch of, of holes in goaltender's arms when they do this. As a forward, if you can get past the fear of pucks coming up by your face, this is actually one of the preferred shots to tip because it's easy to control your stick when it's higher up by your shoulders and it's easier to find holes when you're just able to tip them down a little bit. So we like those as long as they're not coming right at us, whether it's on the backhand or on the forehand. When you're practicing, tipping those high ones down when you can. The fourth one that I'm going to explore is that high slot tip redirection. Think of the Sedins, think of Sidney Crosby. and you offer up your stick as a target, but with a change in the rules now where you can redirect on purpose pucks off your skates, it's important to offer up a secondary target. Good defense and defense coverage will take your stick away. But if you offer up, yes, your skate and get it flat on the ice if you can, it offers a second target for a passer to hit. You see Joe Pavelski get it with the heel of his skate while getting checked. You don't have to score it off your blade. You can put your skate out there and all of a sudden your skate blade is about as big as your stick blade. Now you have twice the surface area for the passer to hit for a redirect. It doesn't have to be a particularly accurate redirection. You're just trying to chip it past the goaltender. 
So when you are doing drills and you're going back door and you're looking for a pass to tap in the net, throw that front skate out there, try to get it flat on the ice and give a secondary target for your passer so that you have twice as much room to make a pass and hopefully score a goal. So those are some of the foundational ideas, depending on where the puck is, where the defenseman is and where the goalie is to try to score more goals. So Jackie, that's the tips on the tips.